Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. This is part four, the reveal video of our giveaway cars. So as a reminder of where we started with these three models, here is the first one. This is the Lark Wagoneer. This one really turned out just absolutely incredible. I'm really, really pleased with just how clean this model ended up being. Um, all the little details, the base, I, I spent probably a half an hour with my buffing wheels and some polishing compound and really got that base almost to mirror finish. The wheels and axles cleaned up just beautifully. The, the glass, all I had to do was really clean it and just polish the front windscreen. Um, I went with a little different paint on this. As you can see, this is the, the teal uh, sort of greenish seafoam green kind of turquoise color. Uh, this is one of the original colors that this model was offered in. There's about five or six different variations that can be found, but this is one of the harder to find colors. And so since I was doing a restoration, I can make it whatever I wanted. So I went ahead and made it that uh, more difficult to find color. And I'm just overjoyed with how this one turned out. Um, I did go beyond, you know, like I typically do on these painted out the headlights, the taillights, and I accented the trim on the side with a little bit of uh, silver detailing paint. Klesny and Matchbox were really known for all of the details that they put in their castings. It's one of the reasons I love these models, one of the reasons that I wanted to collect Matchbox over, you know, Corgi or Hot Wheels or any of the other brands. Uh, it's just something I think is unique to the line and when you're doing these restorations, it's really fun sometimes to show off some of those little casting details. And, you know, it's what makes it fun for me as a restorer to to hit a couple of those things that, again, I think Lesney would have done if they'd have had more time to spend on each model. But uh, this one really turned out great, and I hope you all enjoy it. I hope uh, somebody wants it. Um, as always, uh, a reminder that for the giveaway cars, uh, I'm doing a drawing. And one of the drawings will come from our Facebook page. So you can go out to Facebook and follow us at Vintage Diecast Restoration. And the other drawing will come out of the subscriber pool. So subscribe to the channel. Um, and those are your, your two ways to win. Uh, next, we've got the little Bedford Tipper. Um, I really like these older models, these metal wheel models. This is uh, the the only one in the giveaway that's from the Series A. Uh, all of those are you know quite a bit older, the original issue stuff. Um, it's a metal wheel model, and this one was in really rough shape when I found it. Um, and the restoration on this, the color match to the originals, I've put this next to one of my uh, mint in box copies. And I really, it, it took a lot. Uh, if you remember from the uh, restoration on this one, it, it really took me a long time to hit on the right colors and I had to make some adjustments along the way. But um, this one turned out just almost an exact match to the original colors on these and really, really happy with that. The wheels and the axles on this were very, very rusted and not in great shape and they just cleaned up beautifully. The, the original axles uh, were the crimped, and I've put them back as crimped axles. So everything on this restoration was done just like it would have come from the factory. So if you like this model as much as I do, um, go out and vote for it. Uh, there's a link down in the description of this video and all of the other uh, the part one, two, and three videos as well for the voting page. Um, it's a external site, it's a third party site. You don't have to sign up, you don't have to put your email or, in, or anything. There's three pictures, you click on the picture you want to uh, cast your vote. You can vote as many times as you want and uh, the, uh, the only um, impact it'll have is whichever is my uh, top vote getter um, will be given away to one of the channel subscribers and the second vote getter will be given away to one of our Facebook page followers. And so as soon as this video airs, um, I'm going to be doing that drawing and I will make the announcement on our Facebook page for 
uh, both of the giveaways. So um, enter the, uh, the drawing by subscribing to the channel and following our Facebook page. And then uh, as soon as you see this video drop, uh, go out and check the, uh, the Facebook page to see if you might have been one of the lucky winners. And last but not least, and the reason I left this to the end is right now in the voting, this one has a very clear lead, and that is the Volkswagen van. Um, as you followed along, the restoration on this one was really challenging. Um, it's definitely one of the more ambitious models I've taken on. Uh, the original casting was not in great shape and uh, actually had some, some structural issues that I had to fix before I could do the restoration. Uh, the paint fought me. I ended up painting this model, I think, three times before I was all said and done and uh, still have a little mismatch on the, the doors and the bodies because the doors don't have a clear coat on them like the body did. And uh, with the metallics, I, I find that they always seem to react a little bit to the clear coat and it ends up giving it a little bit different finish, a little bit different shine. But uh, everything on this uh, needed work. The base needed work, the wheels and axles needed work, the interior uh, was missing the table, if you remember. And uh, so I had to make a new table out of styrene and then paint everything in the original orange to match. Um, the glass needed a lot of cleanup. That window on the top was really rough. But uh, as you can see here, and, and I gave you kind of a preview of the way this turned out in uh, the part three, because you saw me do all the detailing on it. Um, but this one, by far, I, th I think is my favorite of the three restorations. And uh, this is going to be really really fun to send out to one of you all um, i'm hoping that uh, this one stays in the lead because it is a really nice model just turned out great and so um, definitely if this is your favorite and it's something that you'd love to have in your collection uh, go out keep the votes coming in this uh, entire process has really been fun for me. Um, I, I do a lot of restorations. I don't record all of the models that I work on. Uh, some of them I do just for myself. But uh, it's really been a lot of fun working on these three models, knowing that they're going to be for someone else. And it's been a, an interesting challenge for me. Things that I might be willing to accept on my, my own models, if it's just something I'm keeping... Um, you know, I've stripped down, started over, done whatever to make it right, and uh, I, I really hope that uh, you all enjoy the final results um, as much as I have enjoyed doing it. I'm really looking forward to giving these away, um, and I want to thank you all. Uh, the, the subscribership to the channel uh, just crossed over 500. That's a pretty significant mark for me. Um, I didn't really know what to expect when I started it, figured I'd do it, do it my way, see if other people liked it, and apparently a lot of you do, and so thank you for uh, for following the channel, thank you for subscribing and, uh, you know, supporting me. I am really trying to make an effort to uh, post a few more of those restoration videos, and uh, I've got, I think, five or six of them shot right now. Uh, I just need to edit them, get the voiceovers done, and get them uploaded. So in the next few weeks, uh, be prepared for a flurry of restoration videos. I'm sure you're all terribly disappointed. So join us next week for another Vintage Diecast Restoration.